So I think um, quality improvement work, sort of for a junior doctor, is just a sort of fantastic opportunity to really make a practical difference to patients' lives in a way which you don't get many other opportunities to do when you're working at that level. Junior doctors are enthusiastic, they want to engage in quality improvement. Um, I think, first of all, from a very personal point of view, I'd say, you know, people go into being doctors in order to help people and this is the most direct way to do it. On a, on a professional level, they, this is also, it, it looks great on your CV as a junior doctor and it's something which as junior doctors will be applying for speciality training later on quality improvement project and sort of engagement with BMJ Quality is, is going to look fantastic for their careers. From start to finish, it's very, very quick. It can be a week of your life, two weeks of your life. And at the end of it, you have a result whereby you've potentially helped, well, sort of tens, if not hundreds, and over time, hopefully thousands of patients. The project itself, we arrived in Pakistan and sort of talking to Pakistani doctors, you know, working very much at the coalface with the patients, they said, you know, a huge problem is that the outpatient clinics, patients come back to maybe six months, three months after they've been discharged from hospital, they have sometimes just not taken the drugs at all, sometimes they took them all in the first week, sometimes they've overdosed on them, and this is simply because they do not understand the handwritten discharge prescription they are given. Often the junior doctor has no time to explain it to them. A lot of these patients are illiterate and can't read handwritten prescriptions in the first place. The pharmacy does not explain what the tablets are and when they should be taken. So we knew this was a real problem. We wanted to get a sort of baseline, some actual evidence of what the problem was. We surveyed 100 patients in the hospital and we found that just under half of them, 48%, were illiterate. This meant the vast, vast majority of patients were leaving hospital for several months with no idea what drugs they were meant to be taking. We wanted to make an intervention. We designed a pictorial-based discharge prescription chart. We had a sort of picture of a sun rising over the mountains to represent morning, a sun above the mountains to represent midday sun setting for evening and we had a picture of a nighttime sky for night. Speaking to the pharmacists we said you know these patients aren't understanding that they don't can't read paracetamol, they can't read aspirin, they can't read the names of these drugs. But we did find the illiterate patients all understood Arabic numerals. We got the pharmacist to start writing number one or number two or number three to correspond with our discharge medication sh sheet on each of the boxes of drugs they gave to the patients. The pharmacists understood this concept, they were very happy to sort of engage with the, with the whole project. And all of a sudden, illiterate patients had a box, they could read the number on it, and then they could refer to the chart and they could see the, just where the X's had been put to mark the time of day they should take it and how many days they should be taking it for. So we then needed to implement this change. We spoke to the consultants, we produced educational posters, we did presentations in the hospital, we spoke to hospital management, we showed nurses how easy it was to sort of just print out the pro forma. And by the time we left, within nine days from start to finish, this discharge pro forma was being used um, on the medical wards in, in this large teaching hospital in Pakistan. So, yeah, it was, it, it's, a, it's a short, simple project done fairly rapidly um, with it, where we were able to get an evidence base, we were able to convince key stakeholders and make a real change to patient safety in that time. People very naturally have worries about, is my project A good enough? Is it statistically significant? I'd say don't worry about it. Like almost any idea is, is of value and um, you know BMJ quality is very much about encouraging people's ideas to get out there. It's going to take a while for any of these ideas to be, sort of be developed to their full fruition. There's lots of things in medicine which started from, germinated from a small seed something like 20 years ago and is now, only now, kind of really reaching its full potential. 
as a junior doctor, this is very much your opportunity to start something off and to be at the forefront of something. Other people, once your project's out there, will contact you. Other people will advise you. Other people will want to become involved. And, and you'll be amazed sort of, sort of how far your idea can go. In some ways, healthcare is kind of often behind sort of private enterprise and in terms of spreading ideas. Um, but this is, you know, this is exactly what we should be doing as doctors, as healthcare professionals. We should be spreading best practice and the best ideas and the new ideas all over the world. And uh, BMJ Quality, you know, and the power of the World Wide Web is a sort of fantastic resource to do that. And, um, you know, if you're interested in sort of genuinely helping people all over the world, then, you know, this is, this is the kind of place you should be looking to publish your work. I think looking at the BMJ Quality website, nearly all the information I got from um, any senior doctors who gave advice during that project, during those nine days, is now on the BMJ Quality website. There's very little it doesn't cover. It is sort of an excellent, sort of very comprehensive resource. Um, from that side of things. I'd sort of encourage consultants to go out, have a look at the website yourself. Um, I'd get your junior doctors to have a look at it and really just emphasise, you know, this is not something for a junior doctor that is going to take up their entire F1 year or F2 year. This is something that, that really, if they, they devote a short, sharp amount of time to, just a week or two, they, they can come out of it in the end having made a real difference to patients in their very first or second year as a doctor. And that's a... Uh, you know, very satisfying for that doctor, it's good for their career and, and most importantly of all it's really good for the patients at the end of it. Yeah.